Okay, we're going to start with a regular spreadsheet. Not a lot of data on it. We've got some standard data with standard headings. Last name, first name, account, which would be their account number. Balance, day due, received, and whether the account is past due or not. So what we need to do on this particular lesson is to show you how to uh, sum up the entire balance. So we've got individual uh, customers with balance and what we want to do is sum this column up. So I can select the first one in Excel and drag it down. Okay, By holding the left mouse button down you just drag it to the end of the column and with Excel 2007 it automatically averages it for you, gives you a count of the rows you selected and then it sums up if you've got numbers in those fields it sums it up for you so we're looking at 1.1 million uh, for our total so in order to get this data summed up and placed into this cell right here on row 16 we can go up to the auto sum command click on the auto sum command and you'll see that it has produced that same number the 1.1 million now the auto sum command can also be used to average the count numbers, uh, maxima, the maximum, number, maximum numbers, and the minimum numbers. And there's also more functions that can be added to this little bar here. So what we've done is we have taken the number that we have calculated ourselves using the selection format, had Excel do it for us in auto format, then we had to place the formula in the totals column for us which would be sum the equal sign always goes before the formula sum is a formula in Excel and it's summed columns D which is this one D2 through D15 so it took D2 to D15 now, if you happen to do that, this right here, what I just did, while being in the formula field, you click somewhere else on the, the Excel spreadsheet, you can just hit escape and it'll go back to normal. All right, that's basic summing on this tutorial.